Yo, yo, I'm Drew Gilchrist and today I wanted to talk about why I stopped taking magic mushrooms because magic mushrooms are actually the last recreational drug that I've ever done. And if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you probably already know that I don't actually take recreational drugs. Like I smoke weed, but I smoke weed for mainly medical reasons. Obviously, I don't think there's anything wrong with having fun with cannabis, but obviously the primary usage for my cannabis use is for a medical condition that I have, which affects my brain. And the thing is, before I had the head injury, I used to do quite a lot of drugs. Like, you know, that was a big part of my life. Like I did a lot of recreational drugs. And then after the head injury, I stopped taking all drugs for like a very long time. And then slowly, maybe like a year later, I tried to get into more normal drugs, like more conventional stuff compared to the stuff that I was taking before. So this is the period of time where I started finding out that medical cannabis really worked for me and that's a story for another time but this is also the period of time when I first tried magic mushrooms. Quickly before we get into this video though, need to have a message from our sponsor of the day, The Goods! Yo, The Goods have some amazing products over on their websites. They've got waxes, they've got vapes, they've got crumbles, they've got all sorts of things. Yo, you guys know that I've been loving the straw nano vapes that they have and you can get a discount with discount code DREW420. Definitely don't be sleeping on The Goods and don't miss out on that discount either because, you know, that is saving you some money. Yo, thank you guys for supporting the sponsors. Remember Remember, even just clicking on the link, having a look at the website really, really does help. And I wouldn't be able to make these videos if I didn't have your support with the sponsors. So, yo, thank you guys, and uh, let's get on with this video. So the first time I tried Magic Mushrooms was, I think it was either at the very end of 2014 or at the very beginning of 2015. And they did literally nothing. Like the first time I tried mushrooms, I didn't feel anything. That was my first experience with mushrooms, and I didn't really think too much of it. Like, you know, I just, I wanted to try stuff. At the time, I wanted to see if there were any normal drugs that I could get into while having a head injury that, you know, wouldn't just just completely fuck with me and at that point I just kind of wrote them off like oh, I didn't do anything. So about six months later I'm at some salt flats and if you don't know salt flats are like they're kind of weird that is literally just like a big thing of salt and if you go there at the right time of the year it looks like a reflection of the sky. So you look down and you just see like the sky. So if you have like a really nice vantage point, you can't really tell where the floor ends and the sky begins because it's all reflective of each other. So my mate had got some Cubensis and said that we should take some before we go on this hike up this mountain. And then by the time we get to the mountain, trip will have started and we'll see this like, you know, beautiful, you know, connection of the floor to the sky and it would just be amazing. And to be honest, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like when I did that, I had a really good time. It was probably one of the best experiences with mushrooms that I ever had. And the only way I can really describe what it was like was was I could just see stuff that was already there, but that my mind couldn't put the pieces together for. Like there were certain patterns and stuff which were, were quite obviously were there, but your brain would just never, you know, connect all of them dots. Like for example, we were sat at the top of this mountain and when the trip had started, I'm like sat there, I'm looking at these salt flats and I'm looking around at these other mountains and I could see where there used to be water there. And there used to be water going up to like the top of the mountains and like, you know, only a little bit would be poking out the top. And I could see how all of the plant life had evolved from being underwater to then being above ground. Like it was really, really crazy. That's the only way I can really describe it. And that description is exactly how I felt. Like I could just see like how the world evolved. And it felt like a very spiritual experience almost. Like it, it was very calming. So every time I did mushrooms after that, I always tried to make sure I had Cubensis because I knew I had a really good time that way. I knew exactly how much I'd have to take to be able to have that same sort of experience in the future. And that's exactly what I did. I think I probably did mushrooms maybe like an extra five times after that, maybe four to like five times. And each time it was pretty much exactly the same. I'd be in like a different situation and a different environment and I'd have that exact same thing. I'd be able to see how like all the life had evolved around me and it was very humbling it almost made me like work out you know what life was it made me feel more in tune with nature and stuff and like you know to have that once every like six months felt like a really nice experience to have so at this point yeah I've had some good experiences with mushrooms I've never had a bad trip at this point I, I, I didn't even think you could have a bad trip like I'm thinking like you know this was such a nice spiritual experience like there's no way you could ever take that and then suddenly it goes bad like how would that ever happen uh, <laughs> until one day when I'm in Amsterdam. And if you don't know, mushrooms are illegal in Amsterdam, but truffles are legal. And some of the places that sell truffles still sell mushrooms slightly under the counter. So we managed to find one of these stores that we knew did some mushrooms under the counter. And we go in there, they show us a little menu. And all I remember from seeing this menu is there was some weak ones, then the medium ones were Cubensis. And I was like, oh, I know them. And then there were some stronger ones. And I can't remember the name of the stronger ones, but I seen the stronger ones and I was like, you know what? 
I've had some nice, chill, spiritual trips from all of the other stuff that I've done over this time. Maybe I should go for the stronger ones and then take the same dosage that I would normally. So that's what I did. I bought the stronger ones and I was like, sweet. So then me and a mate go to some woods to like chill, to like, you know, be in tune with nature and stuff. And when I take these mushrooms, I have totally forgotten that I have just bought stronger mushrooms, right? And in my head, the main thought I had for the plan was, hey, I wanna have a stronger trip than I had before. So with the Cubensis to get like that nice chill trip that I was talking about where I felt like I was really in tune with nature and everything, I'd only been taking a gram and a half. And you know, that was like a nice chill dosage for me, but I was thinking, yeah, I wanna have double that. So I got out three grams of these even stronger mushrooms. So I'm saying this woods, sort of staring at the sky and the trip is getting like more and more intense as like time goes on. It's just getting really, really crazy. And as I'm looking at the sky, I sort of turn my head to this tree and in the tree, you know where all of like the gaps would be? If you're just staring at a tree, there's like gaps in the tree where you can see bits of sky through the tree. Every single part of that like gap in the tree where there's like a bit of sky, instead of seeing sky there, I could just see like a memory from like the past and not good memory. It was like a memory where I'd done somebody wrong. Like even if it was like a really benign thing, like, you know, cutting somebody in a line when I was in school or like borrowing a jumper and like forgetting to give it back and like stuff like that. Like all these weird little things where I'd like done somebody wrong in my life, but that didn't really matter in the scope of things. But like stuff that I just forgotten, like, you know, lost her memory of stuff that, you know, just, I guess times where I've pissed people off or where I've assumed that I've pissed people off and I never sorted anything out. And you know, you can think, if you're looking at a tree, there's a lot of gaps in the tree. There were a lot of memories and it was getting so intense that I was talking all this stuff and I'm remembering all these things from like years ago and people I used to see and people I haven't spoken to and it was just so crazy to the point where it like made me wanna just leave. It made me wanna just like go home and like fix all of these problems. So the trip only lasted for like a couple hours and then afterwards I just felt really, really shit. Like my mind just felt like it was all over the place. All I wanted to do was message these people and tell them that I was so sorry. And I even did end up doing that with a couple people. Like there were certain significant memories where I would, I, I, afterwards I went on like Facebook Messenger and like in my text messages and texted a couple people and said like, yo, I'm really sorry for like this situation. And, like, I think I probably messaged like four people. Every single one of them people came back and said, I don't care. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, I literally don't, like, what? Like, they're all like, this is so benign and so small that like, I like, bro, who, who gives a fuck? <laughs> and this was kind of a bit scary for me. Like, you know, I like spiritual trips and I like working out my problems and I like being able to figure out stuff that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to figure out before, but. This was just way, way too intense. Like I didn't need this and afterwards I felt so weird about it. And then the fact that when I would message people, they'd be like, I don't care. It just seemed so unnecessary. And the thing is the way drugs have always worked with me is when I have a bad experience with a drug, it tends to just happen every single time I try and take it again. Like if I take a drug and I have a bad experience with it, like there's a 95% chance that the next time I take it, it's just gonna be a replica of exactly what happened last time. So, and I've learned that from, you know, doing many drugs over my life and through many different periods of times. And I don't really give stuff a second chance anymore. And I don't really think I want to. So as soon as that happened, I was like, right, I have to cut this off. Like I have to just never do this ever again because like, I don't want that to happen again. Who knows what could happen if that happened again, you know? And where my mindset would be at, would I be able to come out of it quite as strong as I did? And mushrooms were literally the last recreational drug that I was sort of dabbling with. So when I cut off mushrooms, that was like literally it. That was me no longer taking any recreational drugs. I think this was either 2016 or 2017. And even before then, like mushrooms were the only thing I did like once every six months. So, you know, when I cut that off, it was really me saying like, I don't need any of this shit anymore, which is quite nice. It was really, really nice to have that experience. And at least I can talk about it. I can say how I felt and where I'm at now, which is how people grow. So that's a good thing. So I wanted to make this video so I could tell you guys exactly why I quit Magic Mushrooms. And I think this is probably the best explanation I could have given from the beginning to the end to where we are now. And I think it's good to talk about some of this stuff online because, you know, other people might be going through the same similar thing and they might not realize that, you know, it's, it's not like hard to accept that 
you know, you can't do like a certain drug anymore, like, or that you have to change up certain things to do with your life, especially if it makes your life better. But yeah, that's my story. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever had any experiences with magic mushrooms. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. Or if you used to do recreational drugs and you quit and you haven't done them for a long time, I'd also love to know your experiences with that. Yo, people, I go live every single night on Twitch at 9 p.m. We got partnered, baby. So uh, yeah, definitely check out the Twitch stream. And uh, yo, hit the like button on this video. People, if you liked it, hit that like button. It really does help the video get pushed out to more people. Uh, hit the notification bell and the subscribe button as well. If you're not subscribed, only like 50% of the people who watch these videos are even subscribed. Yo, hit the sub button. I'll see you soon. Have a good one.